Hey, it's Chris here today from Huckwons Equipment. In today's video you see behind me, we have the L2502. So it's gonna be an overview video. So we're gonna start at the front, work our way back. So stick with us. So what is a 2502? So that's in the Economy L lineup. So in that lineup, you're gonna have a, in the L02 series, you're gonna have 25 and then go up to a 33, 39, and then actually go supersize it to the L4802. They're all basically, the three smaller ones uh, are on the same chassis size with the same loader. Just the only thing that changes is the horsepower. So i.e. the engine changes on them, but the virtually the same layout on them all. The 2502 is the most popular unit we sell here in that lineup because it is zero emissions or minimal emissions on it uh, compared to the 33 and the 39. So it kind of keeps the cost down. Um, it, it also limits you uh, for the amount of uh, attachments you can get for the, you can't oversize them, but it does give you the biggest chassis size you're gonna get uh, before you go to emissions. So very popular, uh, it suits a lot of needs uh, and it does everything that the it's bigger brother and sister kind of do. Uh, it just takes a little bit longer to get you there. Most people settle on this one and we're gonna point out some key features of it that why people do, but at the end of the day, it's the biggest chassis you can get in Kubota's lineup with no emissions on it. So that's the combination that people are looking for to keep that cost lower um, and, and deliver that same reliable package here. So uh, let's start at the front here and start talking about this unit. All right, so as uh, Kyle was so meanly pointing out is why do we have, what's that? <laughs> I said, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So meanly pointing out to us is that why do you have a snow tractor set up uh, for the middle of May? Uh, well, it, it's a great time at any time to buy a snow package, but really it was our open house there a couple weeks ago. So we're like, you know what, let's set one up. Uh, and show how they generally go out, you know, with a snow pusher on the front and a blower on the back. So this is kind of, yes, even though it's uh, not seasonal appropriate, it is still a very popular package that we sell with it. So it has a snow pusher on the front. So this is the SPL 1060 from Land Pride. So that means it's a 16 inch wide snow pusher. You can go up to the 72 on this, no problem. It just depends what you want to see. Um, again, this is the, being the 10 series, you'll see it a lot higher. And we always, always get them with the back drag option on top here. Strongly recommend that. So whenever you come up to your door stuff, you can curl it over, pull back. Uh, it's gonna work wonderful for you. So with this size of tractor, 60 inch or 72, no problem. You're not really looking to go any wider than that. You can run into just not being able to push if you get too big on it. Uh, and again, it is sitting at about 60 inches wide. It's a little bit less than that, about 58-ish with these tires on it. So uh, 60 will work fine that way. Normally what you're gonna be on here is a 66 inch front bucket on it. So it's gonna be bigger than the LX and not as big as the Grand L bucket. So the Grand L bucket is 72 and then 60 on the LX. So right in between there, but matches perfectly with that loader. So this is the LA 526 loader. Uh, so that means you're lifting 526 kilograms. You're like, well, that's uh, you know roughly what the LX does. And you're like, well, yeah, 100%, that is what the, the LX does. What it does is, because it's a bigger loader, it actually lifts higher. We do have a few videos pointing that out um, and showing you the benefits of being able to lift higher into that uh, dump trailer um, that most people look for, especially in this area. Uh, you know, if you get into moving logs and stuff, it, it's very important to have that extra lift height, if not more capacity with it. Still talking about loaders here, is you can get them either with the, the pin on or the skid steer quick attach right from factory. So uh, the pin on is uh, the same uh, initials there, the LA526, but an FL at the end, and then the standard one you'll see here, it does come with a quick attach, which most people in the, want. Uh, the odd person does still want the pin on, uh, but whenever you have the skid steer quick attach, you know, not only can you have the bucket, you can have the pallet forks, you know, you're gonna have a 2,000 pound set of pallet forks on the front. Uh, you're gonna get a grapple, you're gonna get a 60 inch front grapple on it. There's a multitude of different things that you want there, whether it's angle blades, snow pushers, it's all great whenever you have either uh, skid steer quick attach and then maybe a third function installed on that. After that, you can get the grill guard insert. We don't have it on display here. They've been a little bit difficult to get coming out of the States, but uh, highly recommend it if you're going anywhere near a bush, anywhere near a branch, put that uh, extra grill guard insert in there. Looks great and then protects all that important stuff. Uh, so whenever we start talking about tires, so there is a selection of tires that you can get. So here these uh, are installed with the R14s, super set of tires there. They, they look great on it. So when they look great, they are great. It's nice and wide on the front, super wide on the back. Uh, lots of traction available, but you do have choices. So uh, a lot of them out there are gonna be have industrial on it. Uh, you 
can put uh, the turf tires on if you wish. Uh, we don't sell too many like that. Uh, and then all, there is always the, the standard eggs as well. So, but normally you're going to be seeing and choosing between industrial or the R14s being your two most popular uh, tire sizes out there. Uh, one thing I should always point out here on the front end here, steering bars. So again, like I said, we have a ton of these go out in the bush. I have seen exactly one bent over my, uh, you know, career here of uh, about 15 years. So it can happen, um, but I, I must get it pointed out, uh, you know, once a month on them is, you know, why is this here? Why? And it's just like, well, you're not going to run into any issues. Uh, don't worry. Um, but it's just something to see. It kind of looks kind of odd sticking out there, but uh, not something you're going to uh, run into any issues with. So whenever we move a little bit further back, we're not talking about no issues, is that 2502 engine there. So it is a bare bones, no emissions on it, no issues. So uh, it's tried, tested and true. It is the same engine that you would have got in the L2800 about 15 years ago. So it's got all that power, it's, it delivers, and it's consistent. It's just not going to run into any issues. You change that engine oil filter, and away you go. It's going to hammer away there for, <laughs> I don't know, five, ten thousand hours with no issues at all. So, so now we moved a little bit farther back here, and we're in the operator station. And some of the improvements you're going to see over the 2501 you're generally right here. So you have a nice seat. So before the 2501s it was a basic seat. Uh, you know, it's one of those things that you always kind of complained about was uh, it wasn't as comfortable as what it could be or should be. Um, so you got an upgraded seat. We don't have the optional uh, side arms, side rests, armrests, armrests. Uh, <laughs> we don't have the optional armrests installed here, uh, but again, they'd come down, they're fully adjustable and just add to the comfort level for you. Another nice one is that rubber floor mat. It does come standard with it and you can retrofit it back to the 2501s or, or any of the 01 series and you can make it fit. Uh, it just kind of dresses it up a little bit, kind of takes away some of the vibrations up through the feet. So just makes the creature comforts there a little bit more. One thing to always realize is that there's still a hump here in the middle. Not a huge one, just know that it's gonna be there. If you have mobility issues, potentially it might not be the tractor for you. After that, it is a three range hydrostatic transmission, high, low, medium on here. You can get the optional uh, cruise control. Uh, don't sell too much that way. Uh, one nice feature whenever they're doing all these updates here is that uh, that PTO button there. So if you have uh, a chipper on the back that you're able to press that and get off the seat kind of idea. So it's nice that way. Uh, nice, clean, simple um, way of doing it. So after that, everything's kind of standard. It's got the nice uh, three point hitch, electric PTO. So it changed from the lever system now to electric PTO. Uh, a little nice little upgrade. Your loader controls are still in the same place. Being an economy tractor, it is not integrated into the fender. It is up top here, uh, the way they were for about 75 years. So pretty straightforward, pretty simple um, uh, operator station and the kind of the way you look at, want to see it in an economy tractor. So uh, let's jump around and talk about the three-point hitch. Uh, so we moved around to the back here and you'll see we have the K64 installed on the back of this L2502. So the important things to know about rear implements on these units is you can't oversize it. It doesn't have the horsepower. So you're looking for size appropriate implements. So if I said, you know, I'm gonna put a 72 inch or 74 inch rear snowblower on this, it's not gonna have the power whenever it snows a lot. Yes, it's gonna blow snow whenever you get five, 10 centimeters. Uh, you get quite a bit, it's not gonna do it. And that applies for tillers, discs, anything like that of that nature, uh, there's going to be size appropriate implements uh, whenever you're talking to your product specialist at your local Kubota dealership, they will size appropriate those implements for you. So, uh, so you'll see on the three point hitch, uh, there's no extendable ends on, on the ends of the arms here. So it makes it a little bit trickier whenever you're going to install implements, but at the end of the day, not a whole lot of difference. Then uh, you have the turnbuckles on the side, a little bit cheaper. You just want to keep those lubed up make sure that they keep functioning uh, whenever you go to a make your adjustments to install rear implements that it's not a pain in the butt to, to do so but at the end of the day it is an economy tractor so it's it's going to just deliver what it's supposed to do and do it as a basic level so kind of keeps the cost down uh, and doesn't really increase the the time to install implements just to, kind of takes away from some of the creature comforts that are available on different series of tractors through Kubota so that's kind of a quick spiel about three-point hitch on the L2502. Okay, so this brings to the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about the 2502 and what all it can deliver to you. Um, again, it is a very popular tractor for us here at Huckabones um, because it fits a price point and still delivers everything most people are looking for, whether they have small acreage, large acreage, looking to play in the bush uh, or just do some yard maintenance around their house. So uh, it's going to deliver a lot for you and hopefully whenever you go to your uh, local Kubota dealership and you ta start talking with uh, the, the product specialist, you'll have kind of some background knowledge of what you possibly are looking for and looking at. So if you enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe. If you have any comments, please down below. Thank you.